hey guys welcome back to the channel i'm here with another video as you can see in the title down below today i'll be talking about my work and travel experience so i'll be giving a little rundown on what it was like for me so if you are interested stay tuned watch this video until the end and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe so without further ado let's get into the video okay so for those who don't know the j1 program allows full-time university students to live and work in the u.s for about four months i went on the program for the first time last summer 2023 the state i went to was tennessee and i arrived early i started early so i arrived in the u.s within the second week of may when i arrived to the employee housing and was brought to my room i was the first person in the room and each room has four persons in total so it's like a dorm style room you have two bunk beds in the room if you are interested you can watch my video i gave a tour of the employee housing so if you are interested you can go ahead and watch that video yeah when they're placing persons in room they place them based off their nationality so me being jamaican i was placed in a room with other jamaicans and you know if you're dominican they might go place you in a room with other dominican if you're korean they might place you in a room with other korean so yeah you get the gist i had no problems with my roommates the persons i was placed in room with were really nice persons we get along well we're kind we share with one another and you know if we have a rough day we can come home talk about the day we sit down and laugh i had no problems with them and that was a good thing for my primary job i worked as a cashier and i worked at a water park so the first day on the job the park was not open we just met with the manager and we met with some of the supervisors and got a tour of the park the second day though it was open so that was when the real work started it was not difficult for me to adjust like for example working on the cash register i was a quick learner and understanding the u.s money quick learner understanding quick quick fast and i also got help from other workers you know the biggest issue with working at a water park is that when rain fall when rain fall people start go home or you get sent home or the park will shut down like for instance if they get a storm alert they will shut down the park so you know you're not making no money for that day day but to be honest rain never fall often where i was located rain never fall often so it never have a drastic effect on my job yeah so and sometimes rain would fall on my day off so that would be a good thing for me good thing for me bad thing for others okay so a good thing about working at a water park being an employee you get free access to the water park so on your days off you can go and enjoy yourself all of that anyways getting more into what i did so in the mornings when i arrived to work you know i would like area when we work i had to like pack out the snacks clean up wipe down before the park open i would clean the area before it open and when the park lock will clean after yeah so within may there was not a lot of employees at the time because i never only for people reach within that time enough people start coming 
like in a June more and more people coming for work so within May I was getting extra hours a little overtime but the position that I worked what caused a big problem a challenge was that there were too many persons work in that position it's like they employed too many persons like let me give you an example say for instance there is like five cash register five cash register and you have 25 employees so you know say that coward so what they did was um you know say the odds they might get cut down little and there were days when some persons won't be on the cash register so each day everybody get them turn them turn them chance for the pan the machine some people never really like like working there i'm not like some people go away from early and when they realize um the challenges them going them going yeah so for me that was the biggest challenge and you know working on the cash register i got tips also so tips basically make up the pay so working a position where you get tips is a good position to work because it make up your pay big big time yeah so there were days when i go and would get for work on a machine and they would place you to work in a different position like a breaker or them saying you forget help like search bag for when the people that are coming in at the parking search <laughs> yeah but the manager he tried he tried him try to make everything work for everybody but i did too much away i did too much away yeah some people get frustrated and go away but in august the place we kind of slowed down the water park too um a lot of customers were not coming so you know in august so time get cut as well kind of enough people are come and school ready for it won't matter in august mm -hmm. so that was it for my first job for my second job i worked as a crew member at this ice cream place well not ice cream they call it custard so custard please custard yeah it was it took me a while to get a second job i was using indeed to find a second job but i think it would have been easier if i just went out and go to places and asked if they were hiring because most of the jobs i applied for on indeed i did not get a reply so I eventually get a reply from one of the job then got the interview the manager was really nice she was really friendly and never really not hard question them asked me at the interview and you know when i get a second job you have to get it approved through your sponsor i'm go through all of the steps get it approved for the second job the hardest thing for me was like traveling because the area for me the day uber uber the ad forget ad 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 forget so getting to work sometimes it take me a while for find a ride and the hr gave us contact information persons we can reach out to to get a ride but and all the time them available especially like in a night when we're done like after 12 one o'clock can get no ride them time they but the good thing was that there were persons that we worked with me and my roommate did do that second job they one of my roommate them and there were persons there that would drop us home after work sometime yeah um the second job it wasn't too bad but you know for both jobs you have people where you can't really get along with and people where you can get along with so it's like bittersweet 
so it was an instance like that we and everybody you can get along with but you're nice to everybody you be respectful to everybody but and you and everybody everybody i know you're a cup of tea if i say it go yeah so one thing with that second job too i tried to find another job because they were not giving me a lot of hours even though my ox feet is like I kind of did a run back at them a big little more hours you know when them give me more hours when I soon got me hard in August like they're like oh you soon leave so we'll get a little extra hours so that was it for my second job and the position I work it was not difficult either so you know the custard you have the vanilla and the chocolate custard and you know people make them harder it's like they make it in a blizzard so people choose where they want to mix up in it like chocolate syrup strawberry them thing there and they make like smoothies all of them nice thing there and the employees could help themselves to free custard ice cream I call it ice cream <laughs> yeah it was it was a okay job it was manageable the hardest part of it was when we were like closing because when we're closing the place there's a whole lot of cleaning you know ice cream custard <laughs> you know it if it's if things spill and like it drop behind um what I call it? The shelf or the machine, you know, I for wash, clean up the machine, then wipe down, wipe out the whole place. It's like every time we are leave work, it's like we are doing a deep cleaning. So when when the place lock like what they did, like an hour after cleaning up. Yeah. Anyways, that was it for my two jobs okay um people normally ask me if i would go back to that same place and i would not go back for two reasons the first reason i would like to experience a different state like something new yeah and the second reason based off of the challenges that i experienced like for my primary job they hired too many people in that position so always get caught and you get sent home more while to make it fair for everybody i would not go back hopefully for the next set of people them we are going this summer hopefully it's better for them yeah so people also ask me if i liked it if i like the experience yes i really liked it because i made a lot of friends people from different cultural background it was really good and i went to places like the zoo for example yeah man say zoo then a jamaica but american zoo versus jamaican zoo two different things i see like some animals i never see before like the giraffe the gorilla or the ape whatever they want to call it yeah and as i said as an employee you get free access to the water park when i went and water went to the water park and go on those slides it was it was really good because i've never been on such like huge big slide yeah and you know if i go shopping like when i go walmart and when i go ross but they really like it and after after completing finish finish work when i did done work i did go um new york i went to new york that was a another good experience for the times square you see the lights and the big building and the music and everything it was really good yes i really enjoyed 
the experience okay this is the end of the video please remember to like share comment and subscribe stay tuned look out for another video so yeah bye bye